the Epica bus. Please enter. How are you doing? Good? Everybody good? Great. We are now in the Epica tour bus where we've been already for three weeks, two weeks, still three weeks ahead of us. Normally these tours take five weeks and it's important for us to create a nice cozy living atmosphere because we are here with 12, 13 people. And uh, luckily this bus has a slide out part so it's actually quite wide right now. When we have space we can do that. And um, the thing with these buses is always that we try to use the space as much as possible. So all the cabinets you see here are like filled with food. Then the couches are drawers, there's drinks in there. And um, the kitchen area where I'm actually going to prepare a smoothie. Uh, we bought this at Walmart because often on tour you eat a lot of meat and fries and pizzas and stuff. And this is an easy way for me to get the guys to eat their fruits and vegetables. They like it, so that's what I'm going to do later on. And bathroom number one. Then we have the fridge and the freezer, which doesn't really work. I bought ice cream, but it all melted, so I had to kick it out. Yeah, and then if you can come follow me, so I can show you the beds. We have in total 12 beds, well the driver doesn't sleep in the bus, he always gets a hotel room and it's like uh, two rows with six bunks, three below each other and uh, I'll show you my bunk. I don't know what kind of dirtiness is in the guys' bunk. Yeah, that's where I sleep and another thing to keep me comfortable is like I brought like a pillowcase from home and I have a little squishy animal because when you are in the, when you're driving and you're sleeping the bus is moving like this and holding like an extra pillow or something like that keeps you kind of locked so you don't move too much. Besides that I like to just roll in my bed, roll out of my bed and when you're lying on the lower bunks the movement of the, bu of the bus is not that heavy because when I started off with Epica 10 years ago I wanted to lie in the middle bunk or the top bunk because it's all excited like sleepovers and stuff but uh, it's a hassle for me to climb in these and I'm not such a monkey. So. <laughs> then we have the back lounge where we have another dirty bathroom <laughs> with also a sink. And that's where we brush our teeth, wash, wash our faces. And we also have a shower which is currently being used as a wardrobe or the guys hang their wet stage clothes to dry. And uh, this is a little bit of storage room for suitcases and we don't really hang here. We have another TV here and some dirty underpants or uh, washed underpants which are hanging there to dry and uh, that's basically it. That's our living sphere. sphere. And uh, I'm the only girl on the bus with 11 stinky guys but <laughs> I manage. I have my body sprays, deodorants and uh, yeah, like I said before I make smoothies, I take care of the guys, everybody stays healthy. Not many parties on the bus, and uh, yeah, we drink a lot of tea and coffee, eat bagels in the morning, and that's about it. So, I hope you enjoyed our tour in the Epica bus, and I hope to see you guys on the road. Check out epica.nl for all the tour dates, and hope to see you soon. Bye!